In module 3, we will be covering object-oriented PHP, classes and objects, PDO, which stands for Persistent Data Objects. We will look at PHP MyAdmin. We will briefly discuss application directory structure, and we will take a look at CRUD operations. And CRUD is an acronym that stands for Create, Read, Update, and Delete. Procedural programming is about writing procedures or functions that perform operations on the data in a chronological fashion, while object-oriented programming is about creating objects that contain both data and functions, and these determine state and behavior. Now, object-oriented programming has several advantages over procedural programming. It is faster and easier to execute. It provides a clear structure for the programs. OOP helps to keep PHP code dry, and dry stands for don't repeat yourself. This makes the code easier to maintain, modify, and debug. Object-oriented programming makes it possible to create full reusable applications with less code and shorter development time. When we refer to classes and objects, a class is a programmer-defined data type which includes local functions or methods as well as local data. You can think of a class as a template for making many instances of the same kind of object. An object is an individual instance of the data structure defined by a class. So you can define a class once and then create many objects that belong to it. These objects are also known as instances. And in the diagram, we see here an example of a car class and being able to create multiple instances of cars from a single class template. MySQL is one of the most popular relational database systems being used on the web today. And it is the most popular database system used with the PHP language as it offers several advantages. Now to connect to a MySQL database server, we can do this easily using MySQLi or PDO extensions. With MySQLi, we can connect using a procedural approach or an object-oriented approach. And with PDO, we connect using an object-oriented approach. Now, PDO stands for Persistent Data Objects, and it is more portable and powerful than MySQLi. Some features of PDO include an abstraction layer, object-oriented syntax, support for prepared statements, which help us to secure our application by preventing cross-site scripting. It has better exception handling. It has more secure and reusable APIs, and it has support for all popular databases. In this course, We'll be using PHP MyAdmin to administer our database. PHP MyAdmin is a free software tool that is written in PHP and it is intended to handle the administration of a MySQL or MariaDB database server. Now we can use PHP MyAdmin to perform most administrative tasks, including creating a database. We can browse, edit, drop columns, add or drop indexes. We can run queries and store procedures. We can add user accounts and many other features. Application structure is a pretty important topic as it relates to software development. And while we'll not delve too deeply into application structure, it is important to note that when working on any project, 
you have to keep in mind being able to organize and maintain your project and the files in that project. And to keep your sanity, it is recommended that you adopt a, a proper database structure. Now, there are many different schools of thought. If you use a framework, for instance, sometimes you are forced into a particular application structure. However, for this course, we'll be using a simple application structure. This will allow us to organize our files and be able to properly maintain our project while also keeping in mind that our project could possibly grow and having a proper structure for our project will help our project in the future if it grows and we need to scale. So here is an example of a possible application structure where the styling, content and layout along with any JavaScript files are in one section. It separates the resources, the configuration for the project. Um, it has a folder for um, different libraries, external libraries that you may include in your project. For instance, a mailer to send emails to your um, subscribers. And it also has a templates directory, which may render certain um, tables or lists that come from a database. On the right hand side, we see a structure here where on each web page, we can include a header, uh, we can include a footer and also a side panel while having our page content change depending on which page we are on. When building APIs or application programming interfaces, we want to ensure that our models provide four basic types of functionality. The model must be able to create, read, update, and delete resources. So in a hypothetical library management system, we should be able to create. This would consist of a function that we would call when a new library book needs to be added to the catalog or database. We need to be able to read all the books currently in the catalog. We should be able to call a function when information about a book must be changed or updated. And there should also be a function to be able to remove a library book from the catalog. 